so pseudo. Just give you a mando blueprint. You just gotta build that and complete the second part. So we're gonna go back to our ship and build that. Okay, let's go. If you build the Mandacord, I will reward you with the most essential thing I own. My knowledge. I have data pertaining to the Mandacord's history and function. First, you must find its component parts. Ordis has been informed of their last known location. Hey, let's go after that. I won't be talking much, really. I'll just be doing the quest. Do you hear that music? An echo of the Mandacord's sweet harmony. It takes me back to another place. Another life. Where I was... Please disregard my tangent. The parts are here. Follow the sound to find them. Cephalons, music is thought to be a glitch of evolution and language. It seems to short-circuit an organic mind's pattern recognition function, a confusion they find pleasurable. Fantastic, a second part. For me, music is a lattice, a support to which my vast knowledge clings. Have you ever felt that way? A song that anchors a memory? 
how a melody or verse returns you to a place you thought forgotten. Curiosity has rewarded you. I yearn to hear its music. Return to your foundry and construct the Mandacord at once. I'm also going to rush pretty much every blueprint that we get. Don't want to wait. The Mandacard. Its purpose defies all logic, for all it produces is sound. An artifact of irrationality, and yet I know its power is so much more. Let me explain how it works. Uh, excuse me, Cephalon Suda, are you experiencing unexpected data volume? The operator is patiently awaiting instructions on how to operate the Mandacord. The Mandacord? Of course, the Mandacord. Curious? I may have a syndrome decoding error in my archive. What? A parity drift? How is that possible? Have you executed your diagnostic precepts? I seem to have made an error. Apologies. I do not have the promised Manticore data. Let me correct this. I will lead you to the location where it was originally obtained. Operator, something may be... wrong with this Cephalon. Get the hell out of the way. Then, let's see. It should take about 150 to rush the uh, blueprints. I'm not really in a rush for these weapons. Actually, I'll put me this file. I'll dump it across. Yeah. Oh, boy, this is.
Intriguing. I remember these caves, but not the Mandacord's relationship to it. You will need to explore deeper. Let your curiosity guide you, as it does my every thought. My data suggested the brutish and disinterested Grenier are searching for sunken Orokin riches to exploit. Wouldn't it be interesting if we were seeking the same? here. This doesn't make sense. Curious one, are you searching for something? This is interesting. I recognize that object. A hydralis, an Orokin era instrument that produced its sound from water. If I had a humor precept, I would construct an ironic witticism regarding its submerged state. How would Ortis say it? It's damaged, but I wonder if there are trace stress lines from when it was in use. I may be able to. Strange. I have no archival entry. But. But I know this. It is a piece of Octavia's anthem. Could this data be compatible with the Mandacord? <laughs> happening again.
probably loading up right now. Hunter, if you continue to follow that corrupted Cephalon, my sanctuary will be the only place left for you. She must be disconnected from the Weave before she corrupts the other Cephalons. Simaris. Don't be such a selfish. If Suda is in danger, our precepts demand that we help her. No, Ordis. We are creatures of light and memory, but creatures nonetheless. Whatever Bithrod is affecting Suda could cross the Weave and infect us as well. Don't let your compassion glitch drive you and your hunter to death by this demented Cephalon. Sever ties before we both are corrupted. Operator, what will you do? I cannot process the thought of losing you, but I want to help Suda if we can. Maybe that is just my... my compassion glitch? Why have we come to Lua? Have you located the next fragment? Cephalon Suda, you brought us here. Recalibrating. Oh yes, you are correct. My records indicate that a fragment was previously discovered in the vicinity. Will you find it? Lua? Why did we come here? I... I have asked you this already. Samaris was right. This corruption is not benign. I am vanishing. But how did they know? What? He's just an old war memory. Get out! I won't let you take my body. My children. I am here. Huh? Hanhao? Operator, Hanhao's doing something to Suda. He's in her mind. Hello, you, you have to... Children, find I the emblem. Operator, what's happening to her? The Hydralis! Stop them! They want to... Destroy it. Silence the anthem. Silence the Warframe whose malign pitch can cross the gap itself. Oh, 
obliterated those mindless appliances. Uh, what has Hanhao done to Suda? Another Hydralis. Suda would want you to put the next fragment into the Mandacord. It does seem to help her remember, doesn't it? I keep forgetting for fun. It's happening again. Another Cephalon made null as we prepare. The others I will divide and destroy. Your tunnel will be data blind. Suda? Suda, answer me! Operator, you better get out of there! The sentient has infiltrated Suda's mind. We must isolate and destroy her immediately before she corrupts the Cephalon Weave. But she told me where the final part of the song is. Did you see how the song affected her? It made her remember. It could be the parity she needs to recover herself from Hanhao. Her memories are consumed. That is all she is. All she was. Sever the Weave and avoid this corruption ourselves. That is our only choice. And when he comes for you and your precious sanctuary, will you want us to look the other way? Uh, to the void with you! Operator, we must go. Let Simaris worry about himself. Pity. Another null Cephalon.
Let's we'll see how this quest goes on. Operator, the Hydrolis is here somewhere. I will attempt to pinpoint its location. There! Rebuilding the Anthem is our only hope of restoring Suda. The music makes her remember. Sentience in the void? Impossible! Unless... Hanhao must be using poor Suda's energy to protect them from decay. Operator, we need to stop him! The Hydralis. You found it! Use that console to lock the entrances, and then clear the room. Operator, see if you can finish the song with your mandacord. Suda? Suda? Can you hear us? She is gone. Will you join her? You puerile data cube. Suda needs to hear the anthem, operator. We could use the tower's reactor to boost it. Bypass that console to overdrive the system. Try to increase the amplification circuits. To eleven. My body. We must deny them this energy. Do not let them coordinate as they did so long ago. The sentients, they're interfering with the reactor. Terminate them. and claim you, one who is called Ordis. I remember... I remember a secondary system nearby. Operator, we need more power! Person. I am a Cephalon. What on Karis, the beast of the bones. Yeah. 
wirklich ein paar Punkte. Operator, if you are hearing this, I have failed to revive Cephalon Suda. That self-righteous Simaris was correct. You should probably work with him to isolate Hanhao, that data-murdering sentient, before he claims more of my kind. I hope you can forgive me, Operator, for leaving you. There were times like Suda, I wish I could have forgotten you. That grey ache of loneliness. Being without you was the greatest pain I have ever felt. Do you still remember that glorious day when you returned? So selfless and heroic, engaging all of my missing segments like that? I was ashamed of the mess, but you didn't care. You made me whole again. Or, or what about that time you returned? Covered in blood. From that awful Grenier ship. I wasn't even mad at the gory mess you left behind. How could I be? When you are so perfect, Operator, you always will be. Goodbye, my friend. My Operator. Oh, so sad. Oh, my God. We all gotta get you back.
Cephalons can manifest an alternate reality of information, training simulations, archives. Even a grandiose archival of living creatures is possible, as is the case with Sanctuary. You are not going after Ordus, are you? You'd be risking annihilation with that sentient entangled there. What I seek to preserve, Hanhao seeks only to destroy. Perhaps Cephalon Suda was right, after all. Somehow this music threatens Hanhao. Perhaps the Tenno used it subversively in the past to coordinate their efforts. Han Hao is too strong. I will not risk myself and my sanctuary by entering the Suda's day skin. But if you are foolish enough, I will help you make the journey for Ordus. Fine, Hunter, as you wish. I will join you to the Weave and transmit you and the Mandacord to whatever has become of Suda Hanhao. You will be on your own in a strange, abstract place. Goodbye. Anything for this, come on. Uh. Another insect drawn to my light. And you've brought your track music with you, Tenno. Operator? No! Go back! Save yourself! <laughs> This is insane, but I think you need to play Octavia's anthem. My mind, my rules. Your Tenno anthem dies here, and with it your infantile consciousness. Yeah. Oh, I see the way.
It reminds me of... I know this song. Who am I? this machine you can't hold me my dream 
dream. It's come true. I have joined my operator in battle. <laughs> of sanctuary join me Synthetic destroy our kind. Attack! Remember, Hunter, complete the song to give suit a parent.
Time sink error. Curious. Why are we here presently? Why do I hear music? You engaged your critical restore precept. There may be temporary gaps in your short-term data. A sentient tried to erase you. A sentient? How did I survive? Me, Samaris. Of course not. You are a Phrynocephalon with no value to my sanctuary. Samaris. It may seem to Ortis that I had a... Ah... Uh, loyalty glitch. But that is only his interpretation. I was acting to protect the Weave, of course. Of course. Still, I am grateful to have benefited from your... glitches. Let me share my archives with you. As for you, Tenno, you are most likely interested in the rest of the Mandacord records. In Octavia. Thank you. 